guys, this is Brian back with an Algorand Elgo update. This is Elgo in four hours. We are back in the green today. We're up 2.62% as I do this video, almost at 22 cents. So we're up 2.67% now. Uh, a lot of green over here on the right hand side. The market's looking really good today. I figured we'd have a nice green day after yesterday, and that's what's going on here. Got an article to read you here, pretty good article, bullish article, and some very bullish stuff to show you in the charts. So please hit that su subscribe button. We would love to have you here. Going to do that 180A giveaway next week, and all you have to do to be entered is uh, be a subscriber. That's it. But I want to show you a couple things here first. This is Bitcoin on the, uh, I'm going to put this on the daily chart. You can see we have formed the inverse head and shoulders on this thing, which is super bullish. Waiting for Bitcoin, I have an alarm set up there, waiting for it to break out of this range, which you want to see that. That brings the buyers in the market. The total market cap has also, the total two, this is without Bitcoin, it has formed the inverse head and shoulders. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. You can see um, now if this was the other way up and, uh, you know, it was upside, that would be very bearish. But this is very bullish. We broke out of this range today and it's doing a retest right now on that breakout. Every time you have a, you know, a little bit of just uh, friendly advice, not financial advice. If you ever have a breakout, don't buy a big green candle up here. Wait till it pulls back and retests that uh you know was resistance now support wait till it does a retest uh it will always come back doesn't matter if that thing's way up here big green candle wait for it to pull back you know, just a little advice but all right let's get into this article canal grids development push trigger the bullish excitement in long run okay it goes over the article here yeah uh, yesterday we had the uh, coinbase thing with the staking rewards now apparently algorand and coinbase have two different stories of why this is going on so i'm not going to point fingers if you would dig into that and read a little bit about it um, i'm sure you can find a lot of articles about it but it said algorand is making its way into the development fast lane the network has demonstrated a resolve toward attracting more developers this might be the next move and prep for the anticipated bull run says and you can uh, if you want to freeze this i'm not going to read the whole thing but uh it says we're thrilled to launch our developer focused video series to assist builders in the elk Rand ecosystem okay and that was put out march 21st from the cto of algorand um, says the announcement highlights Elgrand's commitment to encouraging more development with its ecosystem. While this is the best way to foster the creation of dApps and other projects within the ecosystem. It says can Elgrand's development push supercharge Elgo bowls? And it says here that uh, Elgrand's development activity metric has been on the rise for the last seven days. At press time, it was at a weekly high. You know, it says... Uh, uh, meanwhile, Algo is among the top coins that have ch achieved a significant upside in the last seven days. Its performance was particularly aided by a healthy upside in the last 24 hours of press time. Then we had, well, we had that knockback yesterday. So, a positive reaction from investors rode on Tuesday's bullish momentum for a 17% upside on Tuesday and Wednesday. Down here it says. Uh, Elgo's potential breakout from the current narrow range is still not certain given the prevailing market conditions. The top coins, including Bitcoin, were experiencing sell pressure at press time, which might cut Elgrand's potential upside. And it says the uh, its weighted sentiment has been growing weaker since mid-March. This means more investors have bearish expectations. A resurgence of sell pressure will thwart Elgo's latest attempt to break out of its current range at least in the short term the next few days might yield a different outcome that's what we're waiting for wait for that thing to break out here uh we broke out of that you know resistance line there and we're looking for this thing to take off but i don't know what's going on with arbitrum i'll have to look into this thing boy that's a big red bubble this is your top 100 all the green are in the positive today which most of the market is the crypto fear and greed index the market caps up 0.73 percent volume is up 21 percent bitcoin dominance is dropping that's good that means the altcoins are taking more of the market money so we're at a 57 with the market sentiment we were at a 62 yesterday here's your biggest gainers and losers 
and uh, you can see XRP is number one trending coin waiting for that uh, you know, lawsuit thing to end up here so be nice to see a conclusion to that a positive thing for the whole crypto market if it goes right but Arbitrum boy down 89% there and Arbitrum IOU down 78% I'll we'll have to look into that and see what's going on here with that thing. But let's put that Elgo chart back up here. Um, on the daily, the RSI is at the top here. Let's see where we're at in the, on the, uh, the, the 8 and the 12. Yeah, 12 is on its way down. This thing could range. I mean, it could ra it's been ranging here for a few days, and it could continue ranging. Um that that is something that is not uncommon but you can see this range this thing's been in here for geez since when now that could continue out here i mean we got that breakout on march 13th and uh we have broken out of this range a little bit we poked our head up there yesterday and we were starting a really nice run here until we got that knockback yesterday i think over the weekend uh, this market's really I, in my opinion, I think it's going to do well. The one-hour RSI is resetting, so in the four-hour, yeah, this this thing is probably going to range the rest of the day and uh, you know possibly even tomorrow. But hopefully, we'll get some movement here. I, I totally believe that this uh, this support right here is going to hold. I mean, if it held up yesterday, I don't believe we're going to go down past that uh, that twenty. 0 0.2079 okay if we get down here this would uh wipe out this whole move at yeah basically 20 cents we go below that then we're gonna have to reevaluate here but everything looks fine to me and uh, just gotta wait for some price action to play out so please hit that subscribe button would love to have you here every day thank you very much guys have a great night